Okay, so we have some information about Monique. She's very upset with Oprah again, based off the fact that she's trying to make it hard for her in the business. She is definitely stating that a lot of uh, opportunities that she's had have been taken away from her, just based off the fact that Oprah is, you know, basically blackballing her still, she's saying. And I believe it, you know, I feel like Yo King, Oprah, you know, I used to look up to Oprah, you know, oh my gosh, if I become a broadcast journalist, I want to be just like her. Um, and I, I, in a sense, I actually did start my own enterprise, so I have my own company called Radio 2 TV. Um, we do create content based off of uh, pop culture news. We do need some help. Um, we are looking for more people that are interested in becoming a commentator for our network. Our network does provide independent music. Um, we have a few tracks on our website, but we are going to be updating more this month. 2020, so this time of the year, we pull at least 100 artists to go ahead and submit their music. And, you know, those tracks are definitely provided, donated by the artists, so if you can go ahead and, you know, definitely help them out by cash app if you really like their music, donate to their cause, buy their records. I mean, that'd be a great opportunity for you to support independent music. But at the end of the day, everybody has their own, um, you know, preference on what they like and love. We love independent music. Um, and I believe that Oprah wants love media. She wants love helping people. She wants love, you know, trying to promote the black agenda, you know, and slavery and different things like that. Now, a lot of people are saying they don't want to see the movies anymore because they're kind of past that. But I, I feel like we're never past the people that have died for a cause to be free, you know. They died for what we have today that we take granted of, you know. Imagine if everything changed and we became slaves once more, or the whole America became enslaved by another country, you know. It wouldn't be like that, it wouldn't be like that you know, let's just say that. And so I really appreciate the fact that Oprah's done a lot of things in the black community when it comes to movies and different things, but I just don't agree with what she's doing now with MJ, Michael Jackson, she doesn't have all the facts. As a journalist, it's unethical to do an interview that way. It's unethical to do an interview with someone that basically is a friend of Kobe Bryant's and you're, you're gonna make her explain his rape. Like that's that man's, you know, thing that he did if, you know, allegedly if he even did it. Um, a lot of these women and men alike, we're not gonna just say women, and then people's families too. Um, I'm not naming anyone, I'm just saying in general, there has been 